Welcome back to round three of our discussion, Android versus iOS, what you need to know about mobile applications for your business. Uh, development time should be roughly equal. I guess it all depends on the team and how well they know their platform. Is, uh, as far as distribution goes, it all depends on whether you want to submit it to the Apple Store uh, or if you plan to distribute it internally, develop software within your own organization, um, sort of like an enterprise distribution model. Uh, they also have a business-to-business -business distribution model that puts apps on a private app store independent of the public app store. And as far as time goes, Apple requires a code review before posting the app on the store, and this could take anywhere from one to two weeks, roughly depending on a holiday schedule. Uh, app updates have to go through the same review process, but that usually happens a little bit faster. Uh, another cost factor is if you plan to sell your app, or content within your app, Apple's going to take a 30% cut out of that. Uh, Google does the same thing as far as I know. As uh, Jeff mentioned, um, the time for both iOS and Android should be very similar as long as the app is um, similar. Now, if you're doing a port from iOS to Android, you may have to invest additional time and resources into redesigning the application for the platform. And I would expect the same to be vice versa if you were going from Android to iOS. Um, as far as the App Store goes, um, the Android App Store is a $25 one-time registration fee, no annual fees for it. Uh, you can post your applications and uh, Google doesn't do a pre-review. What they do is automated scanning. So once you post your application, it generally takes about two hours to propagate through Google's uh, Play Store server cluster so that it's fully available to the world, um, and then it's up and live. Uh, they do have uh, an enterprise distribution model using their Google Apps for Domains. So if you have a Google-hosted domain, you can also have your own little mini version of the Android market just for your business. Um, Android is a little different in terms of the trust model because on Android you can check a little box in settings that enables you to install third-party applications from anywhere without um, you know, rooting or otherwise um, um, modifying the software on the device. So I can download and install the Amazon App Store and install applications from there. Uh, so it's a, it's a little more wide open. Um, I can have somebody email an application to me and install it without going through the, the, the store. Uh, so it's, it's a little more wild west. Um, you know, from a user standpoint, you need to be a little bit careful about what you're installing and don't install things that aren't trusted and well rated in the market. Um, from a business standpoint, it's great because you don't have to jump through anybody else's hoops to get your stuff out there. So thank you for tuning in today. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which will have new and exciting video blogs coming out frequently. And until next time, see you later.